Wait until you see what Tesla does with Optimus. Elon Musk said just a week ago, and now Tesla has proven it. The new Optimus Gen 3 debuts with a bold matte black finish with red accents, coated in anti-reflective polymer composite that improves heat resistance and durability. Its movements are so fluid that tech experts say it almost seems to breathe now 80% smoother than the previous golden version. What makes this new design so revolutionary for Optimus? And why did Tesla choose to unveil it now? Before we begin, please help us reach 20,000 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great episodes about Tesla Bot, Tesla EVs, and the latest news. What makes the new Optimus Gen 3 design stand out? The moment Optimus Gen 3 stepped onto the red carpet at Tron, Ares was more than a technological showcase. It was a statement that Tesla's humanoid robot has reached a new level of perfection, both in engineering and in mechanical expression. Bathed in the crimson glow of the movie premiere, this Optimus version appeared in a matte black finish with red accents, a striking departure from Tesla's usual industrial white. This was not just an aesthetic choice, it was Tesla's way of proving that Optimus is ready to enter real life, where design serves not only functionality, but also expresses a kind of technological personality. In this third-generation model, Optimus features a compact, streamlined, and athletic design with near-human proportions, about 1.73 meters tall, and weighing just over 56 kilograms. Tesla has re-engineered the internal frame using a magnesium aluminum alloy, maintaining rigidity while significantly reducing mass, enhancing joint flexibility. The chest area has been reshaped, narrower and slightly lower, improving the robot's center of gravity during complex actions such as bending, torso rotation, or performing the kung fu pose that wowed audiences on the red carpet. Another highlight is the polymer composite armor with matte anti-reflective coating, giving Optimus a modern, battle-ready appearance while minimizing heat absorption under strong lighting. The red trim running from the shoulders to the wrists, chest, and knees is not merely decorative. It conceals LED sensory strips that visually communicate the robot's operating status, glowing red in active mode, blue when idle, and yellow when processing commands. Tesla is turning design into a visual language merging form, function, and communication into one unified system. What surprised the audience most, however, was how naturally Optimus moved, rhythmic, balanced, and almost devoid of the rigid motions typical of robots. In its playful sparring with actor Jared Leto, Optimus executed a series of kung fu maneuvers, rotating hips, shifting balance, raising arms in guard with astonishing smoothness. Each motion was powered by over 200 custom-designed actuators developed by Tesla, utilizing servo-linear motors combined with force and inertial IMU sensors to replicate the strength and tension of human muscles with remarkable accuracy. At the core lies the FSD V12 chip, the same one used in Tesla's self-driving cars, allowing Optimus to process and respond to sensor data in just 20 milliseconds. This near-instant feedback enables it to maintain balance while changing direction abruptly or executing high-momentum actions like kicks and spins. It's a massive leap from the first-generation prototype, which had over 100 milliseconds of latency and limited force feedback control. One of the most striking upgrades in Optimus Gen 3 is its completely redesigned hands, each featuring 11 fully articulated joints and multi-point tactile sensors on the fingertips. During the premiere, when Optimus struck its kung fu stance, the fingers flexed and tensed with precision, something previously seen only in lab prototypes. The tactile feedback system allows Optimus to feel pressure much like a human, enabling it to grasp delicate objects such as clothing without slipping or applying excessive force. Tesla revealed that these hands were developed by the same engineering team responsible for the Cybertruck's actuator system, boasting endurance for over 500,000 flex cycles equivalent to more than 10 years of industrial operation. Elon Musk once stated, Optimus will learn like a human by watching and imitating. The robot's AI system is trained on millions of hours of video recorded inside Tesla's factories, where it observes human workers assembling vehicles, learning coordination between vision, grip, and applied force. Through self-learning reinforcement, Optimus continuously improves its gait and motion efficiency as it encounters new environments. Its ability to synchronize movements in artistic poses, such as performing martial arts, shows that the learning model has achieved an understanding of motion rhythm, no longer relying purely on command sequences. In a Hollywood context, 
This suggests a new frontier, humanoid robots capable of performing stunt choreography or physical acting, reducing the need for human doubles while ensuring precision and repeatability. Optimus's appearance at a major film premiere was more than brand promotion for Tesla. It marked the moment when humanoid robots stepped out of factories and into popular culture, where technology is experienced emotionally. The black and red aesthetic perfectly matched Tron, Ares's digital frontier theme, symbolizing Elon Musk's philosophy of AI as an extension of human experience, not a threat to it. If Gen 1 was a lab prototype, and Gen 2 an industrial assistant, then Gen 3 is a commercial symbol, refined enough for public appearances, strong enough for real work, and intelligent enough to adapt to the human world. Optimus Gen 3's red carpet performance at Tron. Ares stands as a technological milestone, not only demonstrating Tesla's mastery of robotics, but also blurring the boundary between machine and humanity. With its sharp design, fluid movement, and extraordinary learning capabilities, Optimus Gen 3 is no longer a sci-fi dream. It is emerging as the first true example of the social robot Elon Musk envisioned. Just as Tesla transformed the electric vehicle industry with the Model S, the company may now be on the verge of transforming human labor and expression itself, this time through the power of Optimus. Once again, please help us reach 20,000 subscribers. This is important for us to stay motivated. Thank you. Why does Elon Musk believe Optimus will surpass all other Tesla products? The Optimus project began as a bold and curious experiment by Elon Musk. When he first introduced it at Tesla's AI Day in 2021, the audience laughed as a man in a robot suit danced on stage, thinking Musk was joking. But four years later, what was once considered a stunt has become the centerpiece of Tesla's long-term vision. Optimus is no longer a sci-fi fantasy. It's a fully functional humanoid machine capable of walking, perceiving its environment, and interacting with objects using its hands and legs. Its mission is clear to take over repetitive or dangerous human tasks in manufacturing, logistics, and even households a step, Musk believes, will redefine the very concept of labor for humanity. By 2025, Tesla had brought Optimus into internal testing. Several prototypes are already operating inside Tesla's facilities, assisting with simple tasks such as moving components or sorting materials. In a post on X, formerly Twitter, last September, Elon Musk declared that approximately 80% of Tesla's long-term value will come from Optimus. This wasn't mere speculation, it was a statement of conviction. Musk sees Optimus as the most transformative product Tesla has ever created. In Tesla's Master Plan Part 4, the company even stated that Optimus will fundamentally reshape the perception, availability, and capability of labor. Musk went further, predicting that within a decade, Optimus could help Tesla reach a $25 trillion market valuation, surpassing any company today, including NVIDIA. Earlier this year, Musk announced plans to produce 5,000 Optimus units in 2025, with a pilot production line at Tesla's Fremont factory already being prepared. The company plans to expand robot deployment across other gigafactories once the system proves efficient. During Tesla's Q2 2025 earnings call, Musk said, We'll likely have a prototype of Optimus 3 by the end of this year, then scale up production next year. He also revealed Tesla's long-term goal to reach 1 million units per year within five years, calling it an achievable target. What gives Musk such confidence is Tesla's foundation in autonomous technology, the company's true core. For years, he has emphasized that AI and mobility autonomy represent Tesla's ultimate value. The same full self-driving FSD software that allows Tesla cars to navigate roads is now being adapted to control a humanoid form. Tesla is reusing its neural network and sensor fusion systems from vehicles to enable Optimus to perceive its surroundings, learn from real-world data, and adapt to new tasks with minimal programming. This tight integration of software and hardware is what Musk believes gives Tesla a massive edge over competitors in the humanoid robotics race, not just in intelligence, but in scalability. Still, skepticism remains high. Many analysts argue that producing thousands of humanoid robots within a short time frame is extremely difficult, especially since Musk himself admitted that Optimus is the most complex engineering project Tesla has ever attempted. Speaking on the All In Summit podcast, he said, it's harder than any of our other projects, only Starship is more difficult. 
Tesla has faced challenges delivering on the 5,000-unit target, mainly due to difficulties in perfecting the robot's hands, which Musk described as the most technically challenging part of the entire system. Some near-complete prototypes are still missing functional hands as Tesla engineers continue refining dexterity and tactile feedback. The departure of Optimus's technical director, Milan Kovac, in June after nine years with Tesla, also slowed progress. Beyond technical hurdles, some robotics experts question Musk's insistence on the humanoid form. Chris Walty, former Optimus team lead, argued that mimicking the human body isn't necessarily advantageous for industrial use. Similarly, Gore Kimchi, former head of Amazon's drone program, said, Humanoids can do many things, but being good at everything is extremely hard. However, venture capitalist Prescott Watson sees potential in the opposite direction. Humanoid robots could excel in unpredictable, dynamic environments where flexibility matters more than speed, such as in homes, hospitals, or care facilities. Tesla also faces growing competition from China where several companies are developing humanoid robots priced around $6,000, significantly cheaper than Musk's projected $20,000 to $25,000 price range. To stay competitive, Tesla must rapidly scale production, reduce costs, and leverage its massive EV manufacturing ecosystem. Despite widespread doubt, the timing of Tesla's bet could not be better. The global advanced robotics market valued at $44.74 billion in 2024, is projected to reach $280.01 billion by 2034, growing at an annual rate of over 20%, according to Precedence Research. For Musk, this isn't just a business opportunity. It's a turning point in human history. With the convergence of AI, automation, and mass production, he envisions Optimus as the foundation of a new economy powered by intelligent labor. If Tesla succeeds, the humanoid robot could become the next iPhone of the AI era. And Elon Musk, once again, would be the man who rewrote the story of technological progress. We appreciate your contributions and hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Techno Creator family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.